Hello everyone. Today's experiment is fun and harmless and great to do together with the children. So please do try this at home. For this experiment you will need a plate, dish soup, food coloring, a small container, cotton buds, milk or cream. We will start by filling some dish soup into the small container. We take a cotton bud and we dip it and roll it to the side so there is not too much dish soup on it. Put it aside and we will pour some milk. And you only need so much milk so you cover the surface. There we go. Now we will start to add food coloring. We will add four different colors. Green, red, yellow, and blue. Add some more green. Now we take our cotton bud with washing soap and I'm gonna put it in an angle so you can see. Here you see the color streams from the cotton bud. And I have to dip it in a little bit. I don't want to make it too much uh, or the effect won't last. Do it carefully and you can do it over and over again to some point where, where you can't obviously do it forever but you can push it in different places and you you get a nice pattern and sometimes you need to change the cotton bud or just drip in washing soap and you have this amazing effect where the color spreads out and as you can see now the, it doesn't has that effect anymore so not too much washing soap or it won't last let's try one more time we can see this nice colorful effect when gripping in the washing soap And it takes for quite a while actually. But let's stop there and test something new. Let's try some more colors. And two cotton buds. You could give your children each one cotton bud with some washing soup and they can put it in there and see the color spread. And after a while you can just drip in some washing soup and you will have that colorful effect. But if you feel that you want to continue and the cotton bats obviously doesn't work anymore then you could still use a straw you could blow and you have some quite nice colorful effects
that was all for this experiment and please check out my other videos and subscribe.